And funds can come from legitimate, so completely kosher um, resources or illegitimate sources. They can come in the form of donations, for example, or indeed they can be proceeds of crime. Proceeds of crime is where we're most likely to come across um, uh, terrorist funding in a law firm, in the law firm context. Um, it can also be through extortion um, and um, unfortunately and sadly uh, hum activities such as human trafficking. So section 21D subparagraph 1 states that disclosing a SAR, this is a tipping off offences, so it's where you disclose a suspicious activity report and that disclosure is likely to prejudice an investigation. The information is then disclosed. The information disclosed is came in the course of the business in the regulated sector. So that is one of the offences of tipping off, where you disclose a SAR and disclosure is like to prejudice an investigation. The wording is pretty much the same as in POCA. A big one here, every practice must have a practice-wide risk assessment in line with Regulation 18. Now, note here, it must also now include proliferation finance, which is the act of providing funds or financial services for use in whole or in part in the manufacture, acquisition, development, export, transshipment, brokering, transport, transfer, stockpiling or otherwise in connection with the possession of chemical, biological, radi radiological or nuclear weapons. OK, you might think that you're very far removed from all of that um, and it might be that you are, but you need to have that. You must have that. The law requires that you have that in your practice wide risk assessment. So make sure that you have that in there and you assess the chances, you assess the risk of your practice being involved with anything like that and how you mitigate that. <laughs> 